What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Coffee by Tori Kelly. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what are the songs by Tori Kelly that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Coffee on guitar is that we're going to be in standard tuning and we are not going to need a capo to play this song. The next thing you want to know for Coffee is the structure of this song. We're going to start out with a verse, then go to pre-chorus, then chorus, then verse, pre-chorus, chorus again, then we're going to have a bridge and then we're going to finish up with one last chorus. And guys, the last thing you want to know before we dive into coffee is the four chords that we need to play this song. Now, quick heads up, all of the charts that are going to be right here are for the bar chords of these. We are going to be using the bar chord versions, but we're actually not going to be playing the full bar chord. That might sound a little bit confusing, but the important thing to remember is that we're only going to be playing what's on the top four strings. So the E string, the A string, the D string, and the G string. Don't worry about the B and high E strings. We're going to pretend like those aren't there for this entire song. So these are the bar chord versions of these chords, but we're not actually playing playing the full bar chord. So with that in mind, our first chord we need is going to be a C sharp minor. The next chord we need is a B. The next chord is an A. And the last chord we're going to need is going to be an F sharp. And I'll have chord charts for all of those the exact way that I'm playing them in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into coffee. Man, I am so stoked to be finally getting to some Tori Kelly. This song is so beautiful. I just heard it this morning, and I'm so stoked to share it with you guys. So guys, this is one of those songs that is actually a lot easier than it sounds like. It sounds like it'd be super complicated, but it's actually much easier than it sounds. We're just going to have a couple of chord progressions and one picking pattern that's going to repeat through the entire song. So first, let's take a look at our chord progression that's going to play through our verses and our choruses. The chord progression that's going to repeat through our verses and choruses is going to be C sharp minor, B, F sharp, and F sharp again. And then we're going to have a picking pattern that we're going to play for each one of those chords. Now, again, this is finger picking. And so for the beginners out there, this might be a little bit tricky, but this is actually a pretty good place to start for pink finger picking. It's not super complicated and it's also pretty slow as well. So we're able to kind of kind of get it down and, and you don't have to work on getting it super fast right away. You can kind of just play it slowly and it kind of actually matches up with the song pretty well if you play it slowly. So what we've got here for each chord, we're going to start up here with our C sharp minor. What we've got for each chord that we're going to do for our picking pattern is this. We're going to go E, D, G, D. And then we're going to repeat that E, D, G, D. And then E, D. And that's what we're going to play for each chord for our picking pattern. So again, kind of walking through that, we'll go E, D, G, D, E, D, G, D, E, D. And then we go to our next chord, which is our B. We'll go E, D, G, D, E, D, G, D, E, D. And then we go down to our F sharp and we'll go E, D, G, D, E, D, G, D, E, D. And then F sharp again, E, D, G, D, E, D, G, D, E, D. About like that. That's a little bit slowed down, but that's the general idea. And that's what it's going to look like for our picking pattern. And again, that is just going to repeat through all of our verses and choruses over and over and over again. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through that a couple of times very slowly so you can see exactly what's going on. Make sure you got all the right stuff in all the right places. And I'll play through it a couple of times after that full speed so that you can match it up with the speed of the song. So slowly a couple of times first to the picking pattern that will repeat through our verses and choruses on coffee will look about like this.
And guys, a couple of times full speed through the chord progression and picking pattern that's gonna repeat all the way through the verses and choruses for coffee will look about like this. And guys, from there, the only other thing that you need to know to play coffee is what we're playing for the pre-choruses and the bridge. For the pre-choruses and the bridge, we're actually gonna play almost the same exact thing as what we just learned for the verses and choruses. We're just gonna change one chord and everything else is gonna stay exactly the same. So first, our chord progression, we're gonna start out with an A chord, and then we're gonna go to a B, and then we have F sharp minor twice again. So the only thing that changes is that instead of playing that C sharp minor and that we did in the verses and choruses, we're gonna change that out for an A at the very beginning of our progression. So again, same exact picking pattern we were using before as well. So we're gonna start here with our A and we'll kind of run through this. We've got E, D, G, D, E, D, G, D, E, D, move up to B, E, D, G, D, E, D, G, D, E, D, and move down to our F sharp minor, or I'm sorry, our F sharp, E, D, G, D, E, D, G, D, E, D, and then F sharp again, E, D, G, D, E, D, G, D, E, D. And that is it, guys. That's gonna repeat a couple of times for each of our pre-choruses and then a couple of times for our bridge. So like I said, it's almost exactly the same as the part we were playing before. The only thing is, is we're playing an A there instead of that C sharp minor. That's the only thing that changes really throughout the entire song is on that pre-chorus and bridge, we start playing that A instead of the C sharp minor for a couple, couple times through that. So guys, same thing as before. I'm gonna play through that a couple of times very slowly so that you can make sure you got everything in the right places. And then I'll play through it a couple of times full speed so that you can match it up with the speed of the song. So slowly a couple of times first, we'll look about like this. And guys, a couple of times through the chord progression and picking pattern that's gonna repeat a couple of times for each pre-chorus and bridge on coffee, full speed will look about like this.
guys, that is everything you just need to know to play coffee on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 700 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what song I'm jamming on today or pictures of my dog, you can hit up my Instagram story at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, I cannot believe it took me so long to finally teach a Tori Kelly song. I really love her music, and every time I come across one of her songs, I'm just like, why am I not listening to her and jamming on her stuff more? Because she's amazing. She's got amazing vocals, and she's also an amazing acoustic guitarist, which is like everything I love. And so, anyways, guys, Copy is such a beautiful song. It's a great song for a beginner guitarist. It is a little bit tricky, but this is one of those songs that if you're a beginner guitarist, this will help push you to the next level because it's gonna introduce you to some chords that you might not have learned yet, and it's gonna introduce you to finger picking, or it might at least kind of help push you more into finger picking. And this is kind of a good place to start. Like I said, we're learning some bar chord shapes with this song, but we're not actually using the bar chord, the full bar chord. So you don't have to bar in this, but you're learning those shapes so you can kind of get yourself familiar with them in the future and then the finger picking for this one it's not super fast and so that's why it's still fairly beginner friendly it is a little bit tricky it is finger picking so it will be new to some people out there but this is a good place to start with finger picking because it's not crazy fast it's not complicated and it's very repetitive like I said most of this song is played exactly the same way except for the pre-choruses and the bridge and the only thing that changes in there is just one chord. Other than that, this song is repeated the same way the entire way through, besides that one chord change in the pre-choruses and bridge. So guys, this is a beautiful song. I want to do more Tori Kelly, so be sure to recommend some other songs to me down below. I know a lot of her music, but I haven't really tried to teach a lot of her music or really learn a lot of her music. And so anyways, let me know some other songs I should learn and teach and all that stuff. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.